What's up, guys? Hey, I'm vlogging. I'm gonna be awkward and You're not nervous. Awkward? Hey, what's up, guys? Over here at Dustin and Chrissy's house. Say hey. Hey. What's up? The Christy and Tristan. Um, celebrating my birthday weekend, I guess you can say. Just stretching as far as I can possibly stretch it. Today we're brewing our third batch of beer. Um, we're brewing a clone of Pliny the Elder. It's like one of the rarest, most popular beers in the United States, I guess, or the world, rather. But uh, yeah, our third batch. We're also going to be trying our second batch, which was like a pumpkin imperial ale that we brewed. And I'm really stoked about it, but let's get to brewing. And these are the labels that are going to be going on our Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Called it Brotoberfest. It's the best we can come up with. What you cooking, son? That pork butt. All this meat. Is it, would you inject it with, dude? Apple juice and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. All right, we're popping open our pumpkin ale here. First taste test. Pretty stoked. Rotoberfest. Not a lot of foam, huh? No. I'm hoping it's fit. Well, there's more right there. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. That fire, dude. That's really good. Dude, it's good. All right, so while we boil the water, we do something called steeping the grains, right? Yeah. Put the grains in a grain bag. These are specialty grains. They're non-fermentables, so they add body to the beer without adding sugar that the yeast can digest and create alcohol with. Do we know what kind of grains they are? Yeah, it's a <coughs> caramel malt and something called carafoam or carapils. It's a it's another type of malt that they adds body to the beer. Gauge here, dude. Now that we we got smart and uh, you know, didn't want glass breaking off into our batches of beer. Not like that can happen or we that happened to us or anything, but bought a nice uh, thermometer that can hang on the side of the pot here. What you doing right here, D? Adding the first edition of malt extract. I'm gonna be nervous, dude. Sorry. I'm so nervous, dude. Can't you tell? So what's this gonna do? Adding the sugar that the yeast will turn into alcohol. So this is the first edition of... The, this is the bittering hops. Bittering hops. Ooh. I feel like such a geek. Right. If y'all weren't here, he wouldn't have felt like that. Because earlier we were doing this and it was like straight, but now I just... <laughs> Try to get over the... I feel stupid too for holding the camera, you know? I'll just... It'll be tight when you look These at These are it. Columbus bittering These hops. Just added some more malt extract. No, there you go. I mean, I'm not, I'm not basing we also have our second edition of bittering hops in here. It's coming along, dude. Piney the Elder. Clarn. Smelling good. We just added the Rias Golden Light Dried Malt Extract. As well as some more Bryce Golden Light Dry Malt Extract. So that's all of the extract, the malt, into the brew. What you thinking, dude? You pretty pumped by this? How pumped are you? On a scale of 1 to 10 on pumpage. There is no scale for my pumpness. You're over on the scale. We're making history today. History being made in this pot. I'm with you. On Next everything. edition, the corn. Sugar. Ideally, dun, I, dun, I like dun. teams that have no like. It's obvious what kind of you know attitudes they have. With, you know, but you also told me other teams don't act like that. Georgia is known for being to me. I got all this sugar. Everybody, whatever. 
I've just been biased since no So we just added the flavoring hops to our beer. So we transferred the, the beer into our primary fermenter. Mm -hmm. Now we're adding some spring water to level out to a perfect five gallons. And we're gonna do this process back and forth within the pot and the fermenter. Kind of just to mix everything up. Where is it at right now? You're in about four and a half gallons. And you're a little less than five gallons. So we just added some yeast to it. Yeah. Uh, one pack. This is the second pack. This is the, what is this called right here? This is a yeast starter. The yeast starter. It's just going to get everything going. Activating like the, the batch pretty much. So here is our beer, Piney the Elder. It's in the primary fermenter. It's going to be sitting in here for about a week, seven to ten days, and then we will transfer it into another, to the carboy, which is the second fermenter. And I'll sit for a while, and then we'll put it in bottles. So that's pretty much the first phase done with the Piney the Elder beer. Pretty stoked for this beer. It's going to be be interesting because it's going to be a lot of hops. It's like the most hops we've had in our beer yet for, you know, it was our third batch. Be the most hoppy beer, but it should be pretty fire. You know, it's like one of the best beers ever, like top of the list. So I'm assuming we did everything right. It'll be some of that fire. What's up, guys? Back home, um, back from Dustin's and Chrissy's house. I know that video was all over the place, every other footage. I hope you enjoyed it though. It's kind of an insight on brewing a batch of beer. We plan to do like a serious tutorial in the future when we do a batch. Um, that was just kind of like a step by step, step but not real serious. If we did, we didn't show everything that we did as far as the steps of, you know, brewing the beer. But we showed you some stuff. But anyways, it was more just to have a video, you know, for my birthday celebration. Even though it's two days after my birthday. Yeah. Anyways, had a good time over there. Um, Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hope y'all had a great Saturday. Georgia won. They beat Tennessee. It was like an overtime game. Nail biter. Um, shouldn't have been that close. We had some guys go be injured. They're injured. Um, kind of made a close game. Tennessee played good. Georgia played bad. No more excuses other than that. But we pulled it out. So that's a good thing. And um, yeah, had a good time. Friends, family. Just enjoyed it. So. Um, awesome birthday, um, the Saturday and Friday and Thursday was kind of a celebration too. So it's finally over 26 in the books. Feels like an old man. Um, but anyways, y'all have a good night. Take it easy. Glaze life. Watch our videos. Please. Bye. <laughs>